everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sasha and today we are checking out a very iconic pedal, the Proco Rad 2. So I just bought this pedal because I never have played one and I really want to try one. And in this video I want to show you how you can use this pedal as a distortion, overdrive, fuzz and boost pedal. So let's start with some distortion sounds. So we have three controls here, a distortion, filter and volume control. Distortion for the amount of gain, volume for the overall volume. And the filter control doesn't work like a tone control, so it's more like a low pass filter. So when we turn it to the left, it gets more bright and when we turn it to the right, it gets more low end. So this is my clean guitar sound. So for really good distortion sounds I like to turn the filter a bit down, like this. So we got a more brighter sound which really cuts through the mix. And the distortion is perfect on 12 o'clock so that's my go-to setting. And it sounds like this. <laughs> So now you will hear a little track that I recorded so that you can hear how the distortion sounds in the mix. So the next way how you can use this pedal is as an overdrive pedal. So it really works good with low gain settings and here you can see what I prefer here. So you really have to turn down the distortion almost to zero, just a little bit up. And the filter really depends on your personal taste. I like it before 12 o'clock. And again a clean sound. It also sounds really good with single coils. And I also recorded a quick tune for the overdrive sounds and it sounds like this.
The next way how you can use this pedal is as some kind of fuzz pedal. So it's pretty easy, just crank the distortion and the filter all the way up and you get some fuzzy tones. And I also made a quick track with some fuzz tones and it sounds like this. So the last way how you can use this pedal is as a boost. And with that I mean a boost for an already overdriven amp or a pedal. So for that we turn the volume all the way up and the distortion, yeah, just like this. So not all the way to zero. So here at around nine o'clock. And the filter really depends on your taste, but it makes sense to leave it in the left area so we got more heights in it. So my amp already has a crunchy tone and it sounds like this. And when we turn on the pedal it sounds like this. So I really hope this little demonstration was helpful for you and could show you how versatile this iconic pedal is. Even more than four decades after it's originally released, it's still worth buying in my opinion and it's overall a great pedal. What do you think about the Proco Red? Do you own one or want to get one? Let me know down in the comments. Alright, that was it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed this one. Please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so that we can see each other in the next video.